This aircraft is the A380 serial number one. It's the aircraft which we used for the development and certification tests of the A380 aircraft. On top, we also used it to test the engine on the A350. And now our plan is to take this aircraft and modify it into a hydrogen propulsion flight laboratory. Our ambition is to take this aircraft and add a stub, a stub in between the two rear doors at the upper level. That stub will have on the end of it a hydrogen powered gas turbine and inside the aircraft there will be hydrogen storage and hydrogen distribution which will feed this engine with hydrogen. Uh, the aim of this flight laboratory will be to learn a huge amount about hydrogen propulsion systems in real ground and flight conditions and this is key in enabling us to achieve our ambition of having a zero emission aircraft in commercial service by 2035. We're now inside the main deck of the A380. You can see that this main deck looks very different than for the, an aircraft carrying passengers. That's because it's a flight test aircraft. Now what I'm going to show you over here is where we're going to install the liquid hydrogen tanks. They'll be located in around this position. They'll be surrounded by a hermetically sealed container and the distribution system will take the liquid hydrogen from this location up to the engine which I showed you would be located uh, at the rear on the outside of the aircraft. You can see that this size of aircraft gives us a huge amount of flexibility in terms of what we want to install in the different locations. It's also an aircraft uh, which will allow us to evolve the storage and distribution and propulsion system over time so that we can prepare for a commercial entry into service by 2035. There will be a huge amount of instrumentation and sensors around the hydrogen storage, distribution and hydrogen engine. That data is going to be really important to allow us to learn about how these systems function in ground and flight conditions. That data will also be relayed back to the flight test station. Uh, this is one that we see here that will need to be adapted for the specific test that we are going to go through. That uh, will allow the test engineers to operate the tests in real time during the flight. Uh, the data will also be transferred through telemetry into a ground test station uh, where the data will be surveyed and the flight test will be managed. We're now in the cockpit. As you can imagine, the pilots have a hugely important role during the flight test campaign. So much so that, in fact, the cockpit will be slightly modified to uh, manage and monitor the hydrogen propulsion system in flight. Over here, there'll be a throttle, which the pilots will use to change the amount of power which the uh, engine, the hydrogen engine, will be operated at. And on top of that, there will be a display which will allow the pilots to monitor the uh, different key parameters of the system during ground and flight operations. I think you can see that this flight test campaign uh, in, even on the aircraft is going to be uh, a, a lot of teamwork, requiring a lot of teamwork between pilots, flight test engineers and ground stations. On top of that, there's going to be another level of teamwork required in order to deliver all of the equipment, uh, all of the ground test benches and systems that are required for a successful completion. I'm really excited to be working with my colleagues at Airbus and all of the partners who are involved in achieving this ambition. It's a really important step for us on our journey to a zero emission aircraft. And I'd like to thank everybody for their involvement so far and for their motivation to achieve the next steps.